Hi, my name is Lee Parody, and I will be doing the head to toe assessment on my friend Megan. Uh, Megan has already emptied her bladder. We've gotten her vitals, height and weight, and we've also done the vision exam. Everything has been normal. Um, she is not going to be wearing a gown. Um, if, she, if this was a normal exam, I would have the patient in a gown so I could inspect their skin um, and their breathing. Okay, we'll get started. All right, Megan, I'm going to tell you everything I do before I do it. And first, I'm gonna start with your scalp and just palpate. I'm just looking for any um, masses or lesions, any kind, anything like that. Everything feels really good, her hair is nice and thick. You can also see that she, her eyelashes are pointing out and she has um, nice thick eyebrows. All right, now we're going to palpate her face, her facial bones. on her jaw if you could just open and close your mouth one more time okay good job can you puff out your cheeks can you smile and frown stick out your tongue and then move it side to side okay now we're going to do the soft and dull test this is soft and this is hard you just tell me which one I'm touching you with okay. can you close your eyes mm -hmm. hard Take a look at her eyes. I'm sorry. No, I got it. Okay. We're going to look at her conductiva. Have you had any redness or discharge? Nope. Any pink eye? Mm -mm. Okay. All right. You take a look at your pupils. You just look at the light. All right. Her eyes are nice and perla. Now we're going to check for accommodation. Can you put one hand over your right eye? And can you tell me how many numbers I'm holding up? Four, three, two, one. All right, now over your left eye. Three, two, one, two. Okay, very good. You can put your hand down and can you just take a look at my finger, mm -hmm. watch it. No nystagmus. Now I'm going to take a look at her mouth. All right, we'll just open it up. Say ah. Uh, uh. She does not have any tonsils. She did have a tonsillectomy. I'm just going to take a look. All right, good job. A little gag reflex. Good oh, job. Thank you for that. <laughs> now, next, I'm going to take a look at her ears. Tampanic membrane looks, looks good. This ear looks good too. I'm just going to slightly palpate her pinna, put some pressure on the tragus. Everything's normal. All right, now I'm going to use this spoon as a tuning fork, and I would hit the tuning fork for the Weber's test. I would place it on her head and she would tell me if she could hear the vibration in both of her ears or just unilaterally, unilaterally, lateral, sorry. And then for the Renee test, I would hit the tuning fork again, putting, on, putting it on her mastoid process. She would tell me how long she could hear it. When she couldn't hear any longer, I would hold it to the side and hear it through air conduction. Usually it would be twice as long through air conduction. Okay, now I'm going to move down to the limbs, starting in the occipital, working my way forward. All right, and now I'm going to check underneath your 
armpits because there are some lymph nodes in there. And while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and do her upper extremity, feeling and looking for any um, rashes or lesions, looking at her elbow, telling she, and she'll tell me if anything hurts. She has a nice brachial pulse. Her skin is warm and dry. I'm just going to feel her knuckles. All right, can you spread your fingers apart against my hand? Good job. Can you rotate your wrist? Good job. You can feel your radial pulse. Nice and palpable. And then I'm going to use this as my hammer to check her reflexes. Okay, good job. Now I'm going ahead and feel her lymph nodes in her um, armpit again. And then just palpate. Radial pulse. Good radial pulse. Her skin is warm and dry. Good cap refill. And good clear in your fingernails. I'm going to test her reflex again. Okay. All right. Now we are going to move to her posterior back. We're going to take a look at her. If she did have a gown on, I would take a look at her, um, inspect her back, and make sure she had no lesions or masses or rashes or anything like that. And Megan, can you take a couple of deep breaths for me? Making sure everything looks regular and symmetrical. Okay, good job. Now I'm going ahead and percuss, and I'm just going to be a light tap on my finger, just to hear. over her kidneys. I'm going to palpate. Do your kidneys hurt? Nope. Nope? Okay. All right, and then I'm going to check for Fremitus. If you could say 99 for me. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, good job. Now I'm going to take a listen to her breath sounds. take a look at her anterior chest and again if she had a gown on I would take a look at her skin make sure she didn't have any lesions or um, any masses or anything like that I'm gonna do the from test again say 99 99 99 99 99 99 okay good job I'm gonna take a look into her anterior chest at her, her breath sounds Big breath. And now while I'm here, I'm going to also listen to her heart sounds. Listen to her aortic, her pulmonic. Her herbs point. Her tricuspid. And her mitral. And at this point, I would also feel for her apical pulse. I'm going to have you lie on your back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe you lift up your um, shirt just a little bit. Okay. All right. And first, I am going to listen to her stomach before we do any kind of percussing or palpating.
She has good bowel sounds in all four quadrants. I don't see any kind of um, abnormal movement or anything like that. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and percuss and feel for any dullness. And just again, that tapping on my finger. Now I'm going to percuss over her liver. spleen okay maybe I'm just gonna lightly touch and then I'm gonna do it moderately and then deeply moderately breath in and I'm going to um, feel you for your liver. Okay. <coughs> Another deep breath in, I'm going to feel for your spleen. Okay. Good job. All right. In the next part of the exam, you can sit up. And actually, will you stand up for me? Yep. I'm going to have you walk forward and then assess your gait. Okay. Yep. And then if you could turn around and walk on your tiptoes. Then turn around and walk on your heels. And then walk heel to toe. Okay, good job. You can sit back down. Now I'm just going to palpate your legs and your knees. And you just tell me if anything hurts. And then if I had her shoes and socks off, I would um, check for skin color, temperature, and see if she had any rashes or any abnormal masses. Um, I'm going to check her reflexes again with my fake hammer. And then I'll check her Achilles. Okay. Okay. And then one more thing, I'm gonna have you stand up again and I'm gonna check your spine. All right, so bend forward. All right, good job, stand up. And then can you lean back on me? Then stand up straight and then move side to side. Okay, and that is the end of the exam. I would wash my hands and thank you, Megan, for letting me do your head to toe assessment. <laughs>